<laughs> Hello once again, welcome back to this channel. Okay, you are a child in an African home, huh? Listen up. Five things you shouldn't do. Well, that I was raised with. These are instructions, so you better listen. Number one, don't give your parents eye contact. Look at them straight into the eyes. Suggest that you are now a big man, a big woman. You want to challenge them. You are now flexing. Okay, so especially when they are upset with you and they're trying to correct you, you look away, you look down. And that has been misunderstood here in the Western world to be like you are shy or you have, um, no, you, you are hiding something. No, if you are scolding me, I will most likely look away. Or if you are a boss, I will most likely avoid eye contact. That doesn't mean I cannot say my mind. It means I'm just showing you respect. Okay? Number two is you already know that one. Using the right hand of God. <laughs> we stick to right hand. Anything you want to say, do, must be with your right hand. If you give me anything as a child, or if you give your, your elder, your older, your parents, anything with your left hand, it's seen as a sign of disrespect. So, by all means, avoid it. You all know that from all these kids and the comedies you've watched. Right hand it is, okay? Giving money, you are taking money, you're giving food, giving or taking right hand. Now, number three, greetings. Oh, especially from where I come from. You acknowledge everything they do, okay? You take courageous constant interaction with them. Good morning, well done. Well done, no. Oh, I see you. You are standing. Acknowledge you're standing. Acknowledge you're sleeping. Acknowledge you're just waking up, even if it's just for a siesta. Acknowledge all these things. You know, like in my greeting, they say, a cabo, that is welcome. A good joko, that is when I acknowledge you're sitting down. It's weird, isn't it? But that is our culture. And they want you to acknowledge them. If you disregard that, they say, oh, he's rude, he's proud. Or oh, she's rude, she's proud, whatever the gender might be. And number fourth, of course, is. Respecting your siblings, siblings, your older siblings especially, okay? And you get to call them auntie or sister for before their name, okay? And the brother, the men, your older brothers, you call them brother or um, brother, actually, not uncle. Uncle is the one we deviated from outside. But then for your siblings, you don't call them by their names, your older siblings, if you have a big brother, even if it's just one year or two years older than you, you call them with an a prefix, auntie this, or sister this, or brother that, okay? And another one is, um, you don't say, I don't want to eat this, mommy. That's what I grew up with. They're one of the rules. You don't have choice of, oh, mommy, I want spaghetti, when everybody is eating panavia. Whether you like it or not, you are eating what everybody is eating. Okay? So, reprogram your brain to tell your belly to eat what we are cooking. And I think it works for me. Even I try, I do it with my children too. It saves you the hassle of having to cook rice, beans, yam, spaghetti. Because you want to have a meal. Okay? One food, one pot for everybody. Wherever you are. Whether you are even the daddy or the housemaid. And another, the fifth one, I think now, is when your parents are coming from shopping and they are carrying all these bags of shopping. I noticed that in this country, the teacher will just say, hey, daddy. They will just say, hey, mommy. And they walk back. You can't do that in Africa. You can't. The mommy will put this stuff down and once you, you turn... 360 and then you reset your brain you know oh and I, I forgot to pick because it's like i have gone to do all the shopping for us and you see me even if you are in a, if you have a if you live in a story building and you can see your mom from front from afar and she sees that you see i see you see me see you and you can't come, run downstairs to the street to collect the shopping <sighs> you've started third world war with yourself and your parents or maybe mom or dad okay so those are the five rules but I have a very funny sixth one, which has got nothing to do with you as a child. It's the fact, I think it's a taboo. When you are a man and you are married, you don't sleep in your in-laws house. I think that has changed, but that used to be a very big deal. Okay? You don't sleep in your in-laws house, they say it's a bad luck. <laughs> Alright, 
see you in my next video thanks for watching please like and subscribe